My name is Logan Chapman. I'm in sports medicine three at South Tahoe High School, and my project is the motion analysis of a tennis serve. My goal is to provide a program to reach a more powerful and consistent tennis serve for all the varsity tennis players at our high school. I worked with Travis Lee. He's the number two singles on the varsity boys tennis team. And watching his matches, I noticed that one aspect of his game that he could improve is his serving. So the first step in my program is to gather data on the first 10 serves. Um, using the ZEP technology, I will outline the inconsistencies of that data. The second is to compare Travis's serve mechanics to the perfect form mechanics, which I'll explain on the next slide. The third is to give Travis a series of exercises to increase power and consistency in his serve. The fourth is to analyze data of another 10 serves with my fixes to Travis's serve mechanics and after my program. And then the fifth step is to see if var the varsity coach wants to utilize my program. Okay, so the perfect form of a tennis serve is outlined in these 10 frame shots. The drop position is where the racket hangs during the backswing, and the impact time is the actual connection between the ball and the racket. These are two aspects of the serve that you will need to know for later in my presentation. So the ZEP technology gives me the data needed to improve Travis's serve. The 3D serving model shows a playback of the serve, which includes racket motion. And the serve analysis includes racket speed impact, which is basically just ball speed. Ball speed potential, which is a prediction of the ball speed based on if you're using or assumed perfect form, perfect serve mechanics. And the backswing time measures the time in between the ball toss and the drop position. Ball spin, spin on the ball, and um, the impact time is the time between the drop position and actual ball contact. So here's a video of the 3D serving model. It's the playback feature. So the playback feature, it includes this red section, which is the racket speed impact, the connection between the racket and the ball. And then back here is the drop position of the backswing. So using the ZEP data, I noticed that Travis's backswing to drop position was all over the place and the racket speed impact was also inconsistent on a range of 10 miles per hour. So I, how I fixed um, the inconsistency in his drop position backswing time was I practiced with Travis throwing the ball two to three feet in the air, which is the projected perfect serve mechanics. I also had Travis hold his racket in the ideal drop position location to get his muscles used to it. And then I had him run through the serving mechanics first slow and then fast marking and watching to see if his racket is in the ideal drop position location. So given the information from the perfect serve, I noticed that turning Travis's hips will generate more power from the trunk and getting him to snap his wrist at the end of his serve will improve aim, therefore making his serve more powerful and consistent. So here's the snapping of the wrist. So notice in this video how Travis's hips, they barely rotate and there is basically no wrist snap. Okay, so I worked with Travis two times a week to stabilize his shoulder and increase range of motion. So the overhead medicine ball slam um, makes the motion of the overhand serve more powerful. The resistant bands basically just strengthens the rotator cuff, um, the little muscles inside of your shoulder griddle. And then I worked with Travis on flexibility to increase his shoulder range of motion in order to have those overhand serving abilities. And then core strengthening to stabilize, optimize momentum and increase his power from the trunk. 
So here's after my program with Travis and my implemented serve mechanics. So notice in this video, his wrist snaps way more and there is a little bit more of the hip rotation in his serve. So with the help from the ZEP technology, I was able to increase Travis's average serve speed by five miles per hour while also making his serve more consistent. So near the end of um, our program, Travis was able to serve consistently in the mid to low 90s. So in the end, I was able to make Travis's serve more powerful and more consistent using my program.